So my morning began at 8.12 in the morning with an alarm I set last night. I then proceed to ask Siri the weather, and it's pretty chilly outside. And I felt like checking my email, so I decided to see what email looks like on an Apple Watch. And if I'm going to be completely honest, it's kind of small and not really that easy to read, but doable in a pinch. After trying my best to read some of my emails, I kind of got sick of it, so I just decided to say, forget it, and I decided to play my Xbox for a little bit. After playing God for a little bit, I decided to hop off and go help my mom with some chores around the house, looking at 98% on the Apple Watch at 9.17 in the morning. So, a bit of an early update, but it lost a percent of battery in three minutes from me just walking outside my door and taking out the trash. So far, this video is going to either be disproving or proving my, uh, my theory about the battery draining from cellular connectivity. After finishing the chores with my mom, I decided to go get coffee with her. Apple Watch is at 95% battery at 9.50 in the morning. Coming back from an extremely long Starbucks trip, Apple Watch is at 87% and it is 10.40 in the morning. I decided to continue helping my mom with some more chores around the house because apparently we hadn't finished them all. So Apple Watch after those chores were done is at 80 and it is 11.52 in the morning. So I finished with the chores and decided to play a little bit more COD and waited until 12.49 to leave for my church. We were doing this event. So right when I got there, my Apple Watch was at 76% at 12.49 p.m. A little under two hours later, I decided to check my Apple Watch's battery again because I hadn't used it for a bit. Just it's been inactive on my wrist. I was helping set up the church event and stuff. So the Apple Watch is at 58% and it's 2.46 p.m. So a little under four and a quarter hours later, I decided to check my Apple Watch again because it was inactive because I was in church. So we're looking at 29% battery and it's 6.22 p.m. So at 8.09 p.m., the final update for this Apple Watch day in the life it is at 18% battery and pretty much survived the whole day. I didn't plug it in once. Um, I will say when I was at church, I piggybacked off the Wi-Fi because it somehow, some way reached outside the church where the event was. So I'm assuming that that probably saved the watch from needing to be charged throughout the day. But if I'm being completely honest, when you have Wi-Fi available on your phone, you connect to it, so why not do the same when you're testing a watch that basically acts like your phone, but on your wrist? So, that concludes my uh, review on using a cellular Apple Watch all on its own. I will, however, say that it is very awesome to have a cellular Apple Watch. Well, if you ask me on the spot, I can't come up with justifications and or reasons for paying $10 a month for convenience, but by what I just said is me justifying and or reasoning paying $10 a month for convenience. It's a convenience price. The convenience of being able to have my watch and still be connected to the world without a phone always having to be tethered to my body. Not necessarily tethered, but it's one less thing I have to carry, one less thing I have to worry about, and one less thing I have to worry about losing. That is my comprehensive review on the Apple Watch SE 44mm GPS Plus cellular model. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace!